Okay, so next phase now. So we should have our net. So whatever your net looks like, the cutting card, you did this a couple of lessons ago. So we've got that. You're gonna need some form of glue. Uh, if you've got any double-sided tape, that could help as well. And you're gonna need some scissors and your finished surface graphic. So you may have the surface graphic, you may have four panels, you may have one panel. It just depends upon your design. So I need to now carefully cut these out. Now, if I tried to, let's say I had four panels and I tried to glue these on uh, and stick them down, by the time I kind of fold them around, this has got to kind of go round the outside of the, um, the cardboard, which is going to stretch it. So it's better to cut these. So you've got to be really careful when you're cutting them that it's as accurate as you can. So if I just trim these out of there, so depending upon how quickly you work, how much time, you know, you could end up with four panels. In this particular demonstration, I've just got the two. So if I just carefully cut along the lines which you spent a bit of time trying to make sure that they were accurate. So we want to try and retain that accuracy with the cut. And the same with this one, I'm going to trim that one down the side there. Now the next cut is going to be pretty crucial because we always advocate, we always uh, recommend that you cut on the waist side, which I've just done there. But now, obviously now, both of these items we need to keep, there is no waste. So I need to carefully just cut along that line through Matthew Black's head. There we go. All the way to the end, like that. So the next thing we need to do is I'm gonna glue this. So I wanna get right to the edge. So it's always a good idea to use a scrap piece of paper. Uh, I've got some, uh, like a pit stick, some just sort. So we, that way I can get right to the edge of the paper, like that. If I didn't have the paper there to fit, it's gonna end up on the table, which I don't want. So we're gonna screw it, and then in the middle. Okay, there we go. Make sure you've got a good coverage. And then we want to stick that onto our net. So if I get myself organized. So sometimes uh, you could either do it flat like this, or it might be a good idea to kind of fold it and then you can see where the edge is. So if I glue it, actually, I'm gonna glue it towards the fold, and then if it's slightly bigger than my net, then I can trim that edge. So I just wanna put that there, stick that down, and if I flip that over, just check the edge. I can't see, oh, there's a little bit there. I could trim that later on. So I stuck that down. So next thing is I wanna glue this one in, I might decide to put it that way. I'm going to move that out of the way. Uh, if I get my scrap paper, I've got the print stick again. So if I do the uh, corners, they're notorious for peeling back up. If they haven't got any glue on. All the way down the edge here. There we go, and then the middle. There we go. So like I said before, Oh gosh, that's not a good call, is it? Just make sure the glue's dry beforehand. <laughs> uh, normally we would do this on the computer and we would print it off together, but under the circumstances, this is the best we can kind of achieve. So if I place that there, we're doing it old school. So make sure you've got any glue on your fingers, wipe that off before you go to stick it down. There we go. I'm on the edge. So ideally, uh, I would then try and do my other design here and next design. Uh, maybe I duplicate that one here. I've got Emerald Bay and the release date. Of course, coming soon on here. Or maybe here on this one, I could have a picture of Magenta Harari's character on the side. Maybe trying to keep the same design. Just depends how quickly you work. And now I want to glue this together. So if you've got some double-sided tape, um, which I've lost, you can always use double-sided tape down the side here. Stick that on your gluing tab like so and I'd have to trim that and then peel that back. Not many people are gonna have double-sided tape at home, I shouldn't imagine. Um, so alternatively, we can use print stick. Again, if I do that, I'm gonna get glue on the table. So I'll try and use my scrap piece of paper again, like that. So if I glue right up to the edge, all the way down there, there we go. Put the, put the top back on and clip it so it doesn't dry up. And then because this is a symmetrical design, it just means I can fold it 
and then I can tuck this in onto the side there and then line it up on the edge. Now it's not going to glue or bond instantly, okay? So you're going to have to hold it just for a couple of seconds for it to form or bond onto each other. And then we can kind of fold that back. So we've now got our finished design. Now before before I glued that, I would have checked to make sure there's, you know, that the design kind of lines up with my net. If that was an opportunity before I assembled it to trim anything around the side. So we've now got our finished net. Okay, obviously we wouldn't display these. Okay, so that's the task now to try and finish off the net and your point of sales display.